one. I'm terrible at vlogging now, apparently. Hi, he forgot to vlog yesterday. So, it's Sunday. Welcome to a new vlog. Uh, it's offensive how productive I've been this weekend. It concerns myself. Um, I, on Saturday, finished an Echo in the Bone. I honestly didn't know that I was going to get it done by Sunday night. So, like, I'm amazing myself there. And then I did, like, grocery shopping and food prep and, like, deep conditioning my hair now. I did laundry. What is happening? And then I went to work today. And then, and then I came home and started dealing in dreams. And then I finished it. Like, in four hours. I get a million high fives from Casper the Friendly Ghost right now, okay? Because I live alone and don't have friends, so he's going to be the one to high five me. So, I don't know what to do with myself now. Oh, I also just played Spyro for like three hours. No, not three hours. For like an hour and a half, too. I haven't done that in weeks. So, um, I think I have stuff coming in the mail tomorrow, which I'm really happy, really, really happy about. And, um... I think next I'm either going to start the Paragon Hotel or Skyward. I want to try and get all of the books, um, like the shorter-ish books done. Um, and I want to start even The Darkest Star sometime this week as well. And then I want to get a start on Les Mis. Um, so I have like a week and a half left in this month. So maybe I could do it. We'll see. Um, fingers crossed. I still have Skyward, the Paragon Hotel, um, the book about pirates that I'm blanking on the name of and even the darkest stars and all the wandering lights so there's only five books I think but all the wandering lights and even the darkest stars have absolutely no audiobooks so I can't even listen to them while I'm walking the dog so I have to put the book down um but I am doing driving this week so maybe I can um listen whilst driving yeah for work yeah maybe fingers crossed um yeah so I said I'm just so impressed with myself man I know. Sorry, I scared you, man. My bad. Um, yeah, so I'm going to chill out and do nothing now because I've I concerned myself. I shouldn't do anything else. It's going to make tomorrow me look immensely late. Hi, people. It's Monday. Uh, I just got back from work and I'm working on Paragon Hotel. I just got to Chapter 10, which... Oh, I didn't put my bookmark in. That was smart of me. Uh, chapter 10, which is page 137. Um... I'm going to keep working on that. I'm hoping. I'm almost at the halfway mark. It's it's a good book. I'm really enjoying it, actually. Um, it's it's like I just haven't read, like, a pure historical fiction, I think, in quite a long time. So um, why didn't I put my bookmark in? What is wrong with me today? So I want to get to the halfway mark or so and then take a break and then read the rest of it tomorrow. Um, I have stuff coming today. Bomb, I guess number one. This is, I think, what I ordered when I needed to add something to my cart when I was pre-ordering um, BTS's new album. Um, yes, okay, yeah, I remember. So I picked up a paperback copy, finally, of The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding by Alexander Bracken. It was also, like, only $8 or something like that for Canadian, which, like, girl, like... Also, I'm just, like, you know, currency exchange is, is, is all over the place, but, like... $7.99 American, $8.99 Canadian. That's reasonable. But then, like, even when... Like, I mean, we, I've, I've ranted about conversion prices. Or the... this It's $17.99 American and then slash higher in Canada, letting people just charge whatever they want for books. Um, but I also got my book outlet order here today. I'm so excited. I haven't ordered from book outlet in quite a while. So, stop rambling. Book outlet. I just make sure they sent everything I ordered. Shipped one order. Perfect. Okay. You want the paper, baby? You always love the wrapping, not the actual stuff that I buy, so. Ready? Okay. <laughs> okay. So I picked up A Thousand Beginnings and Endings. Um, this is edited by Sandra O, or sorry, El, not Sandra O, Ellen O, confusing the O's. Um, it's just a compilation of Asian mystery tellings, and I'm, you can probably guess who's got me really hardcore into Asian culture and stuff now, looking at you, BTS. Um, so I was just, this book came out about a year ago, I was curious about it, but I'm not a big person for, like, anthologies and such. But Renee Adier has a piece in here, which, like, you know, I was like, you know, like, I'm gonna keep an eye on this one. And who else was there? Um, Rashani Trotsky. Um, 
and Julie Kegla were in here. Those were the ones that stuck out to me. So I saw it and picked it up. It's not super big either. And I think, I can't remember which challenge it was, or maybe it's not even one that I ended up doing, but I remember being like, I feel like I need to read an anthology for some challenge and I don't think I have any anthologies. No, that's not true. I do have a radical element somewhere in my arc pile. But anyways, a thousand beginnings and endings. Ugh, please come off. Seriously, if you have a store where you sell books, don't put stickers on them that you can't peel off easily. I shouldn't have to pull out Goo Gone. You're just failing at your job if I do. Okay, this is the real reason I placed the order because I got an arc of book three of this series and I read book one and I didn't mind it. So I was like, all right. And then I saw it and I was like, it's a sign. So um, The Trader's Ruin, which is sequel to, uh, oh, Trader, uh, oh my God, there's a Funko in front of it. The Traders, oh my, no, it would be Willifred doing that. The Traders, no, uh, Kiss. <laughs> Good thing it's on the back. The Traders Kiss. And I have this equal to, um, I think it's called The Trader Kingdom, which is book three. So um, this was like super cheap too. I think it was only like seven bucks. And I just really like these covers. I'm going to be real too. Like the gloss and the design with the cup and the flowers. I just, just dig it. And then it's like this pretty purple on the spine, like here for it. Oh, I didn't look at the underdash dust jacket in that one. Hold on. Hey, baby. Uh, what does this under dust jacket look like? Oh, I like, I don't know who the, is it the Green Willow Publishing? Okay, yeah. Oh, I like this like teal blue, actually. I'm digging that. Hmm, I like that. Um, okay. Okay, I have absolutely no recollection of what order they're in. They should be in, but um, I think that's the way they did it. Not hundred percent. But I picked up *The Invisible Library* by Genevieve Cogman, *The Mask City*, which I think is book two or book three. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, the book three, I believe the burning page and I think book four, the lost plot, they had book five, but it was only in hardcover and I want to get them all in the same format. So I would also just like to, I hope I just took like a risk and was like, I hope I like them. Everyone who has told me they read them thinks I would like them. Every time I see a book that I'm like, Oh, I loved reading that book. It's in the recommended of it. So like, it's also got a library involved. I'm assuming that's invisible. So like as a librarian. Yeah, that's happening. So um, I hope to read The Invisible Library in the next few months. And I think the last one. I was very self-controlled in this order. I picked up book number th four, uh, four, um, Never Seen from the Keeper of the Lost City series. I have book one and two. I haven't seen book three on there yet in paperback for, yeah. So I'll just keep an eye on that and keep picking them up as they come out, which is cheaper than buying the paperback full price on Indigo, because I really need to read the series, and I loved book one. So, um, yeah, that was that. It was a very controlled book outlet order for me. You want the box? If I put it down, you want it that way? <laughs> okay, yeah, so, um, oh. You're not a cat. You won't fit in the box. But yeah, so that's been my Monday. I'm going to work a little bit more on the Paragon Hotel and then play some Spyro tonight and chill out. And it's so nice here. It's summer. Not, it's spring weather, basically. It's only like, was it April? No, not April. March 18th today. And it's like plus seven, eight degrees. It's mud everywhere because there's like seven billion feet of snow that's melting. And everything's just a puddle and a pothole here because that's just Alberta life. But uh, it's nice. I have windows open. The dogs can go out and then come back in and be muddy, muddy and they get all of my house muddy. It's wonderful. Um, so, yeah. I will. I don't think I have anything coming in the mail tomorrow. I'm like 99% sure. I placed a front. Um, I placed an order in at Fangirl Pixie Jar or Etsy shop. But um, I don't think that, that, hasn't, that won't ship for a couple of days, I don't think. Because it was a sale. Um, and I didn't have any new releases. I didn't order any new releases. I originally had pre-ordered The Deepest Blue. But I still haven't gotten to book three of the Queens of Renthia series. So I want to get that one. So I'll wait um, and see. Pick up The Deepest Blue when it goes up on Book Outlet. Or, you know, just get it from the library. It kind of bugs me that they 
it does but it doesn't like I kind of like the new cover but it bugs me that it's like a spin-off novella compilation of side stories but like they went with a different cover for some random reason I still don't understand that but yeah so I'll hold off on that one and probably just end up getting it through the library and worked on trying to get the Queens of Renzia done that'll that's uh that'll be one of the goals hopefully I can get done by the end of the year so yeah Hi people, it's Tuesday. I am about to go to bed and the dogs are already snoring. Um, but I got a fair bit of reading done today. So I finished off The Paragon Hotel. The Paragon Hotel by Lindsay Fay. And I got 70 pages into Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian for my reread. So I'm hoping I could finish this tomorrow. I'd be really happy with that. Um, and then I'm probably going to start, at least start, uh, even the, um, oh, maybe not, hmm, I don't know. See, someone's told me that, like, Brandon Sanderson's fantasies are, like, they're high fantasies. So I'm kind of scared to try and read even The Darkest Stars and start Skyward. If my brain's going to need to be just Skyward. Maybe I'll start Skyward, and if I, if I tell, if I can tell I need, it's high fantasy or not, then... If I can deal with even the darkest stars too, then it will start that too. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Um, yeah, nothing came in the mail today. The puppies have been super cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's all I did today, and I will see you all tomorrow night. Hi everyone, it's Wednesday. Real quick, I didn't have anything come in the mail. I have to go to bed. I have to be up early. I have to do traveling tomorrow. Um, but today I finished Ash Princess by Laura Sebastian. And I don't know what I want to start next. Um, I think I'm going to go with Skyward. Um, I, we'll see. I don't know how much I'll get done tomorrow. Um, just because I'm driving in a car with other people so I can really play the audiobook. <laughs> Um, so I will hopefully at least try and start Skyward tomorrow, um, maybe after work. That's, that'll, maybe what it'll do, but yeah, so that's everything, and I will see you all later. Hi everyone, it's Friday. I have absolutely no idea when this vlog is going up. It's been a hot mess of a two days. Um, I think I worked like 12 hours yesterday, plus driving for four, or two, or some time so I didn't really have any time yesterday to do much reading I read up to chapter 13 of Skyward um yesterday on Thursday I haven't had a chance to touch it and it is 9 30 now and I have to be at work tomorrow at 6 30 a.m so I'm not gonna do any more reading tonight because I still have to shower and everything so um yeah I'm back home though um I had a couple things come in while I was gone including whoops my pre-order came in a little bit early. Shout out to Indigo for doing that. Um, my copy of Sky Without Stars by Jessica Brody and Joanne Rendell came in. And, like, it's a good size. I'm really curious. Oh, that's a pretty map. Hold on. I'll show you the pretty map. I'm just wondering if there's anything. Ooh, there is under dust jacket. Okay, mine's kind of damaged, but, like, whatever. I'll give it a pass. That's all right. So there's us the front. And then the spine has, like, the fleur de lis which I kind of dig in. Um, and then, like I said, there's this, like, insanely pretty map, which kind of reminds me of um, Six of Crows, like the, the like kingdom infestation thing. Yeah, someone, like, accidentally cut my spine, which that's kind of annoying, but whatever, it's a dust jacket on top of it. So, also, that would have had to happen, like, at Indigo, because this came shipped directly from indigo like amazon or whoever sorry um yeah amazon ever touched it and what whoever so and it was packaged in a bag so that's one um i also have a package it looks like it's owl crate i haven't bought an owl crate in a long time but it's not it's from a friend i think oops she's like oh yeah she's uh she, she got a job so she's all excited she's sending late christmas stuff um so i have well, I don't have, I don't think I have him yet. I have this dude that I'm blanking on the name of from Dragons of Nova. I had the one with Florence on it, I think. Um, and then she sent me one for Wrath, Water's Wrath. I think she got to meet Elise Kova. I think that's why. Um, cause Elise Kova does a lot of like cons and everything and she lives in the US. So if they actually get that stuff. Um, Pemberley? Merry Christmas. Sorry, this is so late. Um, it's all UPS's fault. Yes, of course it is. Um, I hope you enjoy these arcs. Oh, interesting. Okay. 
Uh, fire is catching, and if we burn, you burn with us. Oh, that's from The Hunger Games. Actually, just recently rewatched that in, like, hardcore. Totally forgot about that. Um, The Night Tiger. I have never heard of this book in my life. The Night Tiger by Yang Si Chu. Came out in February. Mm, oh, apparently she's New York Times bestseller. The Night Tiger is an utterly transporting novel set in 1930s colonial Malaysia, perfect for fans of Isabel Lind and Minji Lee. I've never read or ooh, honestly know who Isabel Lind and Minji Lee are, but I'm into this 1930s colonial Malaysia thing. Um, I also... <laughs> oh, wow. How did she get all of this? Um, she... <laughs> She hates the series and managed to get an arc of it. And I was bugging her for forever to give it to me. She kept saying no. So I have an arc now of <laughs> Twice Magic. Um, I think there's something in it. Or is that just... I think there's something in it. Oh my god, oh my god. Thank you. Lols. Yes, I love you, Meg. And I did not... Oh. Okay. Um, and an arc of the Hunger Games. Never, I've seen those online and never even thought I'd, like, ever find one. That's kind of cool. Um, I think I remember you saying the Hunger Games got you reading again. This is better in your hands. Well, that's very sweet. Um, it's one of those books, I think it was the first one in a long time in grad school, or undergrad school, sorry, um, that I made time just by, like, all the history reading that I had to do. I made time to make sure to read those books as soon as I heard that it was becoming a movie. And I had bought the book for my brother and just had never read them. And I actually did a reread of them a little while ago. Oh, that's so cool. That's very sweet of you, Meg. Don't, I'll never say that again. Awesome. So I got three arcs. That was very sweet of her. And I've never heard of this one. This, this one sounds actually really interesting. I've never seen the cover for it either. The Night Tiger. And it's author of color, which is always great. Always good to get more of that. And so I'll have to find time to squeeze this in. The Hunger Games. I don't even know what I'm going to do with that arc. Now I feel like I have to buy the anniversary editions that are out this year. Oh, I don't know. I'll figure something out. Anyways, that's what my Friday. So the books that I hauled, that is the very little amount of reading I got done. Um, I don't know when this vlog will go up. I haven't edited anything and I work Saturday morning and Sunday morning. So depending how tired I am Saturday, maybe I can edit it and throw it up after. If not, then ignore this rambling. And um, yeah, it goes up when it goes up. So I will see you all later. Hi everyone. So it's Sunday. Um, yeah, I literally got no videos <laughs> this week. It's just, yeah. Um, so I finished Skyward on Saturday. Sorry, today is Sunday. I don't remember if I said that. I don't think I vlogged yesterday. So yesterday I finished Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. And then I started uh, The Republic of Pirates this morning by Colin Woodard, I think. And I actually ended up DNFing that one um, after about three hours. And um, I just started working on... The Beast That Is Les Mis by Victor Hugo. Um, I'm only on page 57, but it's not as, like, I thought it was just going to be very, like, high brown, intimidating. I don't know if it was the size or just, like, the topic that it covers, but I'm actually enjoying it so far. So I am exhausted, though. I'm so tired. Um, so I'm putting the book down on page 57, which is the start of book two on it. Um, and I'm just going to keep working on it. It's going to definitely not be done by the end of this month. It's 60 hours long on audiobook, and I'm following along with the audiobook. Um, and it's not even, like, you can't even, like, go double speak. It's, like, it's just, like, legitimately, like, they talk normal, like, a normal human. So it's going to take probably about 60 hours. Um, so... Yeah, I'm just going to keep trucking away on that. And tomorrow, I think I want to start Even the Darkest Stars. I'm going to be so annoyed with myself because I'm not going to finish that and All the Wandering Lights at the end of this month. I know it. But I want to start Even the Darkest Stars, and then I'll just keep um, um, All the Wandering Lights on my bookshelf, just like I kind of did with Descendants of the Crane. I didn't get it done in the month of February when I wanted to, so I just kept it there. So I just that was the first thing I picked up. So uh, that is the plan. Um, and... Yeah, I will find some time soon to record all the videos that I need to. Um, but yeah, so I'll just fold this vlog from last week into this week and make it one vlog. And yeah, I will see you all later. Hi everyone, it's Monday night. Um, I'm just about to go to bed. I'm not feeling super great, but 
um, about to go to bed. Um, this morning I just kind of on a whim decided to start working on Four Dead Queens. <laughs> and I just finished it actually. Um, and it's a fantasy standalone. So I didn't start something new really. I started and finished something. Which is great. Um, I didn't touch Les Mis. I just got really into this and wanted to finish it. And I finished it. So I have no idea what I'm going to read tomorrow. Um, I think ho hopefully I can... Mm, yeah. Maybe listen to a little bit of Les Mis and then um, hopefully pick up Eve of the Darkest Stars. That'd be nice. Um, and yeah, that's been my day. Nothing came in the mail for books or anything like that, but I have stuff on the way. So we'll see when it shows up. Hello, everyone. Um, it is um, Tuesday. Um, so I had a couple things, actually. So this morning, what's in? Um, I read another book of Les Mis, so I finished book two of it, so I'm on page 112, um, which, like, really that's nothing in, considering it's, like, 1,400 pages, but, Watson, but if I can just ignore my dog playing with plastic, um, like, try and read, like, one book every other day or so, depending on how long all the books on them are, I'll be happy with that, um, and it's actually interesting. I find a lot of old classic stuff. I feel like it ages really quickly, but I'm not finding that with this one. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then today, so after I read that, I decided this was originally going to be in my April TBR, but I just decided to try and pick it up now. So I started and actually just finished The Boat Lane King by Laura Anderson. It's not super big, so I'm really glad that I, that I finally got to that. Um, and I searched all over the place to finally find a copy, so I'm actually glad that I enjoyed it. Um, oops, that goes, oh, somewhere in this chaos. Um, I didn't pre-order it. I was expecting it to, like, be in our store, but for some reason, the, um, the Mighty Heart of Sunny St. James is not in being carried in Indigo stores, which is, like, kind of messed up to me, but it's not, so I guess I'll have to order that. But I think I'm going to pause all that until, until my birthday, so I'll put that on the list. Um, and then while I was out today, I went and picked up Scorch Dragons by Amy Kaufman that this came out today as well. Man, the, like, it, it's, you have to see it in person. It's all foiled. It's gorgeous in person. Um, it's prettier somehow than book one, which is Ice Wolves. And I freaking loved Ice Wolves and it ended so like, <gasps> so I'm very excited to read this whenever I do, hopefully soon. Um, and then, ha, ah, my copy of Wondersmith, the German edition, showed up. It's so pretty, and like, oh, I gotta show you the under, like, the above dust jacket alone. Like, this purple, this dusty, like, lavender purple. Oh, here for it. So here for it. But then, wait till I show you under the dust jacket. Actually, I posted this on my Instagram, because it's just too pretty to not share with the world. But, like, that's the under dust jacket on the front, then your spine, and then your back. It's so pretty. If you want, like, probably better than this quality, go look on my Instagram. But, like, whew. Um, oh, and, like, the end pages here are this, like, lavender polka dot. I don't even know if you can really tell. It's, like, a faded lavender. But, oh. like, North America, step up your book game. Like, Germany and, like, the UK came for you. And, yeah. So, that's what I've done. I'm not going to read anymore today. I'm exhausted. I want to go to bed early. Um, and on top of that, I just dropped my TV remote in my coffee. So, it broke. So... Just got to hope that I don't accidentally turn off my smart TV because there's an app that you can use the remote, but it only works once the TV is already on. Kind of stupidly set up like that. So here's hoping. Yeah, because I found a super cheap. Well, not super cheap there. If you like Google like remote replacements, this is the first time I've actually owned a television. Y'all, they make money on those replacement remotes like someone is actually selling a replacement remote like it's not big like this is it. And really all you need is the power button for it. Because I use the app ever for everything on it otherwise. And it's fifty dollars. You're a remote, not an iPad, you don't deserve that. But I found somewhere like a third party seller that's supposed to be seventeen dollars, so we'll see, hopefully. And that's my story of my remote. Um, but I don't know what I'm gonna start tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing with my life anymore. Um Yeah, I will see you all later. Hi everyone. It is uh Wednesday. Day? Yes. Um, I started and finished We Set the Dark on Fire by Taylor K. Magia. I wasn't totally planning on reading it out this month, but just ended up reading it. 
Um, and then the arc that I want on Instagram from KK Perez came in. It's an arc of the Tesla legacy. Um, I want it like, a, like two days before the actual book came out. So I have the actual book. But now I have the arc of it, which is awesome because I freaking loved Sweet Black Waves. Um, but she also signed it. Whoops. Um, dear Samantha, embrace your power, KK. So I'm just, I'm so excited. I, I've, I've just like have good vibes about all of her stuff. So I got that too, which is awesome. Um, and then today BTS decided to drop their comeback trailer. So I've just been a hot mess ball of chaos. So that's been my day and I will see you all later. Hello people. It's Thursday. Um, I just finished, uh, this morning I started and then I just finished Give the Dark My Love by Beth Revis. Um, and I think that's the 20th book I've finished this month. Um, I also had an arc show up to my office, um, from one of our publishers that we kind of work with, uh, Swallows Dance by Wendy Orr. It's a middle grade and it sounds like it's, um, uh, it's a middle grade about Pompeii, like during the volcanic eruption. Lyra is about to start her initiation as a priestess when her world is turned upside down. A violent earthquake leaves her home and her family in pieces, and the earth goddess hasn't finished with the island yet. With her family, she flees across the sea to Crete, expecting sanctuary, but a volcanic eruption throws the entire world into darkness. After the resulting tsunami, society descends into chaos. The status and privilege of being nobleborn are reduced to nothing. With her injured mother and elderly nurse, Lyra has the only... Lara has only the strength and resourcefulness within herself to find safety. Um, and that comes out October 1st. So I'm hoping to get to it soon. It's actually really pretty cover too. I love that. It's like, and with the, like the tsunami and the waves and then the fire in the background for like the natural disasters. And I'm just really curious about this one. It just piqued my interest as soon as I saw the cover and then I read the summary and I was like, what? So this is right up my alley for middle grade. Um, and then I forgot that I requested it, but I requested Spectacle um, from the library from by Jody Lynn Zdrock. I've heard mixed things about this one. I was really excited, but I heard a lot of mixed reviews. So I'm going to get from the library and hopefully um, I can squeeze it in in April. Um, there are a couple books that I actually put on my um, TBR video, which will be going up on Tuesday, um, that I ended up squeezing in this month because I finished my TBR, um, basically. So I have a couple open spaces. So I'm going to substitute in Fire Falling by Lise Koba and then probably Spectacle. So that is the plan. That has been my day. Um, I want to get one more book done this month. I really, really want to get The Fever King by Victoria Lee done. Um, and my library hold for the um, audiobook came in. They still haven't um, shipped my physical copy, so we're just going to cancel that, <laughs> um, and we'll just do it audiobook. Um, so I'm going to start that tomorrow in the morning. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to chill out for a little bit more and then pass out. But I'm, yeah, I'm just super curious about this one, the Pompeii and the natural disasters, and yeah, Bronze Age survival story, which like kind of up my aisle and then you're like oh it's a middle grade and I'm like oh my god that's Sam so that's what I'm doing and we'll see you all later hi everyone super quick check-in it is Friday I'm about to put this vlog up huzzah you have two weeks worth of me just talking about books if that's something you're into um nothing came in the mail but I started um the fever king this morning so I am about almost halfway through it I'm listening to the audiobook excuse me listening to the audiobook from my library um I'm hoping to finish it tonight if I can't I will finish it tomorrow morning slash afternoon after I get back from work and then I will be done that book and that'll be my 21st yes 21st book this month and I will have completed the um women's hall of fame challenge that we have in the tbr oh my god there's dirt everywhere <laughs> it's melting and I walk the dogs and they just bring dirt in every time but we had like the women's hall of fame challenge to try and do a book per person um and then we had like four traits for each woman in hall of uh, women in history at Frida Marie Rosa Parks Malala and Ada Lovelace so the fever king is my last one and then I've gotten them all done so like high five to me um 
And then I think I'm just going to spend this weekend. I work both days, but I think on my downtime and doing whatever, I'm going to keep working on uh, Les Mis. I would really, really be happy if I finished this weekend at like page 250 or so. Um, that's the goal. We'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, that's been my day. And I will see you all on Sunday for my wrap up, which will be interesting because I think I read like... 14 books over the last two weeks. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Oh, man. None of them are, like, rereads, I don't think. All right. Well, it's just going to be a long one. Maybe I'll make it into two videos. I don't know. Either way, I'll see you on Sunday. Bye.